The Los Angeles Clippers were underdogs against the Nuggets and Warriors and came away with solid back-to-back -back wins. Not to mention, they almost beat the Suns on opening night as that game went into overtime. Look, I know we're three games into the season, but people were talking crazy, saying how the Clippers, who will be without Kawhi Leonard for the next little bit, will give the Thunder Cooper flag, and how this team was going to crumble and be one of the worst teams in the Western Conference. I'm probably one of the few NBA creators on this platform who praised the Clippers offseason and was optimistic about their team going into the season. It's early, but the Clippers look like they're going to be just fine. In this one, I'm going to talk to you about the Los Angeles Clippers and why this team is built for success. If you all could do me a solid favor, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Clippers content just like this. And shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. In the Clippers' latest win, Zubots was the most dominant force. He continues to play strong as he posted his second straight double-double with 23 points, 18 rebounds to go along with 6 assists. He has scored at least 20 points in the first three games, making him the second center in franchise history to achieve that feat. Bob McAdoo, while playing for the Buffalo Braves, did it three times in 1974, 75, and 76. Zubots became the first Clippers player since DeAndre Jordan in 2015 to have at least 20 points and 15 rebounds in consecutive games. In the Clippers' last three games, the Croatian has averaged 22.7 points, to go along with 14 rebounds and 4.3 assists per game. This is a drastic improvement from the 11.7 points, 9.2 rebounds, and 1.4 assists Zubots averaged the previous season. Zubots is making the most out of this opportunity, and he is just thriving alongside James Harden. And speaking of James Harden, I mean, he is the leader of this group with Kawhi Leonard out, and he's an orchestrator who makes this so easy for his teammates. He didn't shoot the ball particularly well going 6 for 19 from the field, but he had 23 points, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds in the Clippers' latest win. At this point of his career, James Harden is a premier point guard slash playmaker. He is playing at a high level still, and he can still have his moments where he has his offensive outbursts, but his ability to set up his teammates for easier looks is just impressive. And during an interview with Shams, Harden was asked whether he sees himself as the man now that Kawhi is not present. And he answered, I've been in situations like this where we have not as much as other teams, but then that's where my leadership role has to really, really kick in. We don't have room for error like a lot of other teams. We have to be detailed and precise on everything we do. And that starts with me. Few expected the Clippers to be in this position without Kawhi Leonard, winning close games without their best player in Kawhi Leonard, who continues to sit out with inflammation in his right knee. But you look at James Harden, he has kept this team in a great position to remain competitive in a loaded Western Conference. And guys, you look at the Clippers playoff odds over at BetUS, they are a plus 350 to make the playoffs. I think this team will find a way to make the playoffs. They're going to survive the stretch without Kawhi. Then hopefully Kawhi is back with this team sooner rather than later. So I'm actually going to go ahead and place this bet. You can tail along with me if you wish. Right now, if you sign up with BetUS, you will get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your second and third deposits up to $2,000 with the code YouTube150. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. Norman Powell, you got to give him a ton of credit too. He did his best work in this game in the second half, scoring 18 of his 20 points. And Powell's big moment came late in the fourth quarter when the Clippers' 13-point fourth quarter lead was slipping away despite Stephen Curry not playing because of a sprained left ankle. And with the Clippers up by three, Powell blocked a three-point shot by Buddy Heald. And then Powell went down the court, took a pass from Zubats, and he drilled a jumper from the corner. Norman Powell has been huge for this Clippers team early on. And you look at Pal, he erupted, finishing with 37 points the other day against the Nuggets. And he had 22 points in the fourth quarter of that game. And three weeks ago, Norman Powell spoke out on Paul George leaving the Clippers saying, I saw it as addition by subtraction. More guys getting opportunities, including myself. And with Paul George gone and Kawhi Leonard on the sidelines, the Harden, Pal, and Zubac trio is stepping up in a big way and they are absolutely delivering. Early into the season, the Clippers are the only team with three players averaging 22 plus points per game. As Harden, he's leading the league in assists and Zubats is leading the league in rebounds. 
and you got the role players who are starting to play very well and find their defined role with this team. And then once you add a healthy Kawhi back into the mix, there's a reason why I was still a big believer of this Clippers team despite losing Paul George. The Clippers might be even better with LPG in the grand scheme of things and when things come together for this team and they're fully healthy. And let's not forget, this is a big talking point I had in the summer. The Clippers defense is much more improved than you're looking at it to start the season. They do have a top defense and the Clippers acquisition of Chris Dunn cannot be understated. It was huge for this team to pick them up such an underrated pickup and they needed a solid backup guard following the departure of Russell Westbrook and after just three games done he has lived up to the expectations he's proving to be a valuable asset for this team on both ends of the court but where he really makes his impact is on the defensive end and he has quickly established himself as one of the best premier defenders in the NBA he's got quick hands and his quick instincts have allowed him to average two steals per game and he's just done an amazing job disrupting the passing lanes and forcing turnovers and Dunn says that his success on defense is primarily due to his teammates saying everyone is buying in on defense and you look at Dunn I mean this is a guy who is almost out of the league but he's really emphasized defense and he's made a name for himself in that area as Dunn he's found a perfect fit with this Clippers team for the skill set in which he provides and you look at this Clippers defense it looks very very promising because they might not have as many offensive weapons as they once had but this team is leaning on its defense to get stops and generate transition opportunities and when you have defensive minded players defensive pests if you will like Dunn, Terrence Mann, Nicholas Batum and Derrick Jones Jr. you can see how this Clippers defense has been bolstered and why the Clippers defense is going to be a big reason why this team remains in the thick of things in the West. So this Clippers team, they're trending in the right direction and I think they are going to be just fine for now, but they need obviously Kawhi Leonard back and healthy if they want to think big picture of competing in the playoffs, winning a championship. But I mean, if this Clippers team, if they are able to get Kawhi healthy and he's able to play at the peak of his powers, they save him for the second half of the season, closer to playoff time, and they can survive without him. I think this team is going to be a dangerous one. And I think way too many people wrote him off super, super early without actually seeing what this version of the Clippers can accomplish out there. So let's see what the Clippers can continue to do. But I believe in this team. And I think this team is going to continue to play solid basketball, even without Kawhi Leonard. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you a believer when it comes to this Clippers team? And what have your initial thoughts been on how the Clippers have looked through the first three games of this NBA season? Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, before you get out of here and once again shout out to bet us for sponsoring today's video that is it for me it's luke signing off thanks so much for watching i will catch you all again in the next one